In conclusion, we've seen how the STM32WB55 can seamlessly integrate with the third-party Zigbee products like IKEA smart home devices using both basic setups with individual light bulbs and switches as well as, as more complex configurations with the IKEA gateway. Moving forward, we'll explore more complex use cases with the STM32WB55 on Zigbee platform. A key aspect of this is cluster management, which allows devices to communicate more efficiently by grouping similar functions such as lighting or HVAC controls into clusters. This enables seamless interaction between devices and we can define custom clusters for even more advanced scenarios. In upcoming examples, we'll dive into multi-device setups, including environmental sensors, security systems, and more showcasing the full potential of STM32WB55 in Zigbee-based solutions. The STM32 Zigbee solution offers a powerful and versatile platform for home automation and other IoT use cases, especially when integrated with open source technologies like Raspberry Pi and Docker. By leveraging the STM32WB55 and combining it with platforms like Raspberry Pi, you can create a full featured scalable home automation system. The Raspberry Pi can act as a gateway or a hub connecting your Zigbee network to the internet, allowing for remote control and automation through web interfaces or mobile apps. Using dock containers, you can easily manage multiple services and applications such as home automation software or third-party Zigbee integrations, all running on a Raspberry Pi. This flexibility enables you to add more functionality to your system such as voice control, security monitoring, or energy management using open source tools and libraries. Furthermore, the STM32WB55's ability to interoperate with the third-party Zigbee products means you can seamlessly integrate a wide range of commercially available Zigbee devices into your setup. Whether you are controlling lights or sensors, this combination of open source platforms and STM32WB55 Zigbee solution provides a robust, scalable, and customizable system ideal for smart homes and industrial IoT applications. In this demo, we'll take a Zigbee setup a step further by adding a thermostat cluster showcasing how to implement an advanced application with the STM32WB55. The thermostat cluster will allow us to control and monitor temperature settings within a smart home environment. This is an example of how cluster groups of related functionalities can be used to manage specific tasks. We'll also demonstrate how callbacks can be implemented in this scenario. Callbacks allow the system to react to specific events such as when the temperature exceeds a certain threshold. These callbacks enable real-time responses from the thermostat, automatically adjusting settings or sending notification. By adding this cluster and callback functionality, we'll show how to create a dynamic responsive system that can manage more complex tasks within your Zigbee network. Here we'll explore the ZCL thermostat library, utilizing both standard and custom attributes to create a fully functional thermostat. We'll show how to integrate this with typical home automation setups focusing on managing cluster read and write callbacks. These callbacks are crucial for real-time communication between the thermostat and the other devices, enabling seamless control and monitoring. Additionally, we'll also see how OTA client support works on these devices. This setup highlights advanced cluster management and demonstrate how to extend Zigbee functionality in home automation. We began this application with the basic on-off example, establishing initial device communication. From there, we progressively enhanced its functionality by adding attributes and allocating clusters, focusing on the thermostat cluster. The next step involves setting up cluster callbacks, allowing the thermostat to respond to real-time events such as temperature changes and control requests. Once the cluster and attributes are configured, we will move on to the running, debugging, and testing the application using stm 32 qbyde for development and QBRF monitor to analyze Zigbee communication. These tools will help us fine-tune the system, ensuring everything functions as expected. 
This process will demonstrate the scalability and flexibility of the STM32WB55, taking us from a basic on-off example to a fully featured smart thermostat that can seamlessly integrate into a larger Zigbee-based home automation setup. The Zigbee cluster library defines a standard way for Zigbee devices to communicate by organizing functionality into clusters, which group together attributes, commands and responses. A cluster is essentially a collection of related functionalities for specific type of devices like thermostat, light switches or sensors. In a ZCL setup, you have client and server roles. The server holds the attributes, for example, a thermostat's temperature set point, while the client sends commands to manipulate or read those attributes. In this case, binding and reporting mechanisms that automate communication between different endpoints or devices. Binding ensures that commands or reports are automatically routed from the client to the server, while reporting enables devices to automatically send data like a local temperature value without the client explicitly requesting it every time. For example, when a ZCL write request is issued to set the thermostat's temperature set point, this command is sent from client to server which then updates the set point attribute. Similarly, the ZCL report feature is used to send information like the local temperature value from the server to the client, allowing it to adjust operations or monitor the environment in real time. This architecture makes Zigbee communication efficient and flexible, enabling devices like thermostats to interact seamlessly with other network nodes such as sensors or control systems. For a thermostat application, binding involves connecting the thermostat's endpoint cluster identifier pair to other devices in the Zigbee network like sensors or control panels to exchange data such as temperature. In ZCL, you can configure binding either locally or remotely. Local binding is typically used when the devices are already part of the same network and you want to directly connect the thermostat's cluster to another device like a temperature sensor. Remote binding allows the thermostat to communicate with devices across the Zigbee network even if they are located on different nodes. During the joining process, a find and bind mechanism is used to automatically discover and bind the thermostat to other devices that support the same clusters. Through binding, the thermostat can receive updates on the current room temperature from a sensor and send commands to control the heating or cooling system. CCL reporting allows the thermostat to periodically send updates like the current room temperature to the other devices in the Zigbee network. This enables efficient data transfer such as reporting temperature changes to a central control system or a remote display. Local configuration sets up default reporting intervals for specific attributes like the thermostat's current temperature or set point. Remote configuration allows the client to request periodic updates of specific attributes from the thermostat such as the target temperature or operating state. However, not all attributes in a Zigbee cluster library are reportable. The ZCL specification defines whether an attribute's reporting is mandatory, optional or not supported. For a thermostat, attributes like local temperature and set point are typically reportable, ensuring the system can track and respond to temperature changes in real time. By setting up attribute reporting, the thermostat ensures that relevant data such as temperature variation is sent to the cluster clients at defined intervals providing a robust and efficient way to maintain consistent environmental control within a smart home. When onboarding a thermostat device onto the Zigbee platform, several key steps take place to ensure successful communication and integration into the Zigbee network. The process starts with the thermostat sending an association request to the Zigbee network. This is the device's request to join the network. Once the network coordinator receives this request, it sends an association response allowing the device to connect and begin communication. After association, the network shares the network security key with the thermostat through a key transport mechanism which secures the communication between devices. The thermostat is now fully part of the Zigbee network. The Zigbee device object layer handles the next stage. The network performs endpoints and clusters discovery 
by sending ZDO requests to the thermostat. This is often referred to as device interview where the network interrogates the thermostat to find out what clusters, which is functionalities and endpoints it supports such as temperature monitoring, set points or fan controls. The thermostat responds with a ZDO response sharing information about its endpoints and clusters. Once this is done, the network can proceed with binding and report configuration. Binding links the thermostat's endpoints to other devices or clients and reporting configuration ensures automatic updates for certain attributes like temperature. Once the device is bound, ZigBee cluster library request starts. The ZCL read-write requests allow the client to interact with the thermostat by reading its current temperature or writing new set points, such as adjusting the desired room temperature. The thermostat acts as a server in this context, processing commands sent by the network. For instance, when the control system sends a command to change the thermostat set point, the thermostat acknowledges with a server response confirming the action. This process ensures that the thermostat is correctly onboarded, integrated and fully operational on the ZigBee network. In this demo setup, we showcase how the STM32WB55 can function as a thermostat using open source devices and libraries like Raspberry Pi. In this case, the Raspberry Pi acts as the home assistant, so you will need to install a custom image and docker to enable this functionality. Once the Raspberry Pi is set up with the necessary configuration as a home automation hub, the next step is to add a ZigBee third-party dongle to the Raspberry Pi. This dongle allows the Raspberry Pi to connect with the STM32WB55 ZigBee thermostat, enabling communication between the two devices. After the ZigBee setup is complete on the Raspberry Pi, we can verify the ZigBee network connection. From there, you can read and write temperature values on the STM32WB55 ZigBee thermostat, which will reflect through the ZigBee communication. Finally, the status of the temperature readings and device interactions can be monitored through both a dashboard on your home assistant platform and a terminal demo, where you can see real-time communication logs and confirm successful data exchanges between the thermostat and Raspberry Pi setup. Once your ZigBee network is set up, you can start reading and writing values directly from dashboard of your home assistant platform. While performing these actions, you can also monitor the logs in the corresponding terminal window for the STM32WB device. The app thermostat.c implements logic for managing and controlling thermostat attributes and operations. It utilizes ZigBee cluster library to define the core functions of the thermostat such as setting temperature points and handling incoming commands for other ZigBee devices. The code starts by defining a set of attributes like the local temperature, heating and cooling set points, system mode and the running state. These attributes are part of the ZigBee thermostat cluster and are crucial for controlling the thermostat's behavior. Each attribute is assigned properties such as being writable or reportable, meaning they can be modified or trigger reports to a remote device. The key function is app ZigBee thermostat config endpoints, which initiates the thermostat server on the ZigBee network. This server is responsible for registering the thermostat endpoint and appending the defined attributes to the cluster. The function also writes initial values for attributes like the local temperature, setting it to 22.5 degrees Celsius and activating the running state of the thermostat. When an external ZigBee controller or device sends a request to change the thermostat settings, such as adjusting the temperature, the thermostat server WRCB callback function is triggered. This callback verifies the incoming data, ensuring it's within allowed limits before applying the new settings to the thermostat. This enables real-time control and monitoring, ensuring the system operates safely and efficiently. The STM32WB55 makes it incredibly easy and seamless to implement a thermostat example within a ZigBee network. 
from setting up the device and establishing communication to configuring clusters and managing attributes. Now that we have the thermostat fully functional and communicating within the ZigBee network, the next step is to monitor the network traffic using a ZigBee sniffer. For this, we'll once again use the STM32WB55 but this time configured as a dongle to act as a sniffer. This will allow us to capture and analyze ZigBee packets giving us deeper insights into the communication between devices, verifying interactions and ensuring smooth operation of the entire network. Now let's proceed by setting up the STM32WB55 as a sniffer. To set up the STM32WB55 as a ZigBee sniffer, you'll need to configure the environment properly. First navigate to the wireless stack binaries provided in your STM32WB package. Specifically, you look for firmware binaries MAC802154 sniffer dongle dot binary. Flash this firmware onto the STM32WB55 using a tool like STM32Q programmer. Now install Wireshark. Download and install Wireshark version 2.4.6 or later from the official site of Wireshark. During installation, ensure the path is added to the environment variables so Wireshark can run from the command line if needed. Wireshark will serve as the interface to capture and visualize ZigBee traffic. The next step involves the Python sniffer script. Navigate to the sniffer tool directory within the stm32cubemonitor RF tool. The script and the batch files you need are stm32cubemonitor sniffer.py and stm32cubemonitor sniffer.bat. These files need to be copied into Wireshark's xcap directory which you can find by navigating to the help or about Wireshark menu and checking the folders tab for the xcap path. This step will allow Wireshark to communicate with the STM32WBY55 sniffer. If you're using macOS or Linux, don't forget to grant execute permissions to stm32cubemonitorrfsniffer.py script. Install Python version 2.7 or later from python.org. Add the installation part to your system's environment variables if it's not already configured. You'll also need the Py serial library which allows Python to communicate with the serial port. Now to verify your setup, you'll need to go to the home screen of the STM32CubeMonitorRF where you'll find a dedicated button labeled 802.15.4 sniffer or you can also access it through the settings menu in the menu bar by navigating to settings to mode either method will bring up the sniffer tool but before it launches the system will automatically check if all the necessary prerequisites such as firmware and tools are properly installed if any prerequisites are missing or incorrectly configured a pop-up window will alert you to resolve these issues before proceeding. This ensures that the environment is fully functional and ready to capture ZB packets. Once everything is correctly set up, you'll be presented with a new pop-up window to launch the sniffer. After click clicking the launch button, Wireshark will automatically open ready to start sniffing. You will now be prompt to choose the interface that corresponds to your STM32WB55 device that has been configured for sniffing. This is a critical step as selecting the wrong interface will prevent packet capture. Once you've selected the correct interface, you will need to choose the appropriate ZigBee channel for monitoring. This ensures that the sniffer is listening on the correct frequency to capture the packets from your ZigBee network. After selecting the channel, click the start button to begin capturing packets. The captured packet list will be displayed at the top of the Wireshack interface showing real-time ZigBee traffic on your network. Clicking on any individual packet will show detailed information in the middle pane while the raw byte data of the selected packet will appear in the bottom pane. Now let's dive into the demo where we'll see the STM32WB55 sniffer in action capturing live ZigBee packets. In this demo, I'm sending ZigBee frames by adjusting the temperature levels on the thermostat which are being detected by the STM32WB55 sniffer. As the thermostat sends updates, you'll notice the corresponding ZigBee frames appearing in Wireshark. Now click on any of these frames to dive deeper into the packet details.
you will be able to see the type of data being transmitted including temperature values and command types. This allows for a clear understanding on how thermostat communicates with the network and provides valuable insight into the ZigBee packet structures. We have successfully demonstrated how the STM32WB55 can act as a thermostat in a ZigBee network seamlessly communicating temperature data and responding to changes. Using tools like Wireshark and the STM32WB55 as a sniffer, we've captured and analyzed ZigBee packets showcasing the reliability and flexibility of the STM32 platform for smart home solution. Now let's transition to the large ZigBee network presentation where we'll explore how the STM32WB55 can scale to manage complex ZigBee networks. In a large ZigBee network, the structure typically consists of three main types of devices, the coordinator, routers and end devices. The coordinator is the central hub of the network responsible for initiating and managing the overall network, assigning addresses and ensuring devices are properly connected. It forms the network and allows other devices to join. Routers play a critical role in expanding the network range. They not only connect to the coordinator but also allow other devices to communicate through them, extending the network's reach and ensuring that signals pass through them multiple hops. End devices are typically low power devices that communicate directly with the coordinator or routers but don't forward messages. They can be sensors, actuators or other devices performing specific tasks. In a large network which may consist to of 10 to 100 or more devices, maintaining robust communications become crucial. The Zigbee mesh network structure enables devices to dynamically find the best route for communication, enhancing both reliability and coverage. The advanced features of STM32 application focuses on large network setups, coordinator configuration, and operating in noisy environments. STM32 provides robust example that demonstrate ZigBee channel agility, ensuring reliable communication even in challenging conditions. These features are crucial for maintaining network stability, optimizing performance, and ensuring seamless communication across extensive networks. A noisy environment refers to a scenario where your ZigBee network is not operating in isolation. In such environments, there's often the presence of other wireless standards such as thread or Wi-Fi which can interfere with your ZigBee network. Additionally, there can be channel overlap between IEEE 802.15.4 which ZigBee operates on and 802.11 commonly used by Wi-Fi. This overlap can lead to increased interference impacting the robustness of your network and degrading the user experience. To combat this, it's essential to select a quieter channel where interference is minimal and if possible, increase the output power of your devices to ensure a stronger and a more reliable signal. By doing so, you can maintain network stability and provide a better experience for users even in challenging noisy environments. STM32CubeWB addresses communication challenges in noisy environments by offering an optional feature in some ZigBee stacks known as Frequency Agility. This feature is designed to automatically trigger a channel change when communication issues are detected, ensuring your network remains robust and reliable. Frequency Agility is particularly useful during network formation as it helps in selecting the least crowded channel reducing interference from other networks and standards like Wi-Fi. This feature is critical in maintaining optimal performance, especially in complex environments with multiple overlapping signals. STM32CubeWB provides application examples that demonstrate this capability, such as the ZigBee on-off channel agility for sleepy end devices, ZigBee coordinator, and ZigBee router. These examples show how frequency agility can be seamlessly integrated into your applications, providing enhanced reliability and a better user experience even in challenging conditions. Start your ZigBee journey with STM32WB today. Build your final application and customize it by adding your own code to tailor the solution to your specific needs. With STM32WB, you have the tools to create robust, reliable ZigBee networks that can thrive even in challenging environments. As we wrap up, let's recap the key takeaways from this workshop. First, the STM32WB platform offers a full-featured ZigBee ecosystem complemented by rich 
and continuously expanding STM32 ecosystem. It supports quick setup and prototyping, allowing you to dive into Zigbee development with no prior knowledge. The STM32 platform is built with powerful DNA, including numerous peripherals, robust security, and lower power usage. You'll benefit from a field-proven Zigbee stack solution with over 50 Zigbee examples available in STM32 Cube MX and more being added regularly. The ease of use is unmatched and you'll have access to ST's wireless FAA support team ready to assist you every step of the way. Here are some valuable resources for Zigbee developers. Visit the STM32 developer zone, explore the STM32 hotspot on GitHub and check out the STM32 wiki for getting started with Zigbee. Don't miss the STM32 WB getting started video series on YouTube. You can also find evaluation tools like new boards and detailed application notes to guide your development journey. Thank you for joining us for this workshop. We are now ready to begin the Q&A session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We are here to provide the answers and support you need. Thank you.